Emulsions lie at the base of many kitchen ingredients and preparations. Milk, butter, mayonnaise, and foams like meringue are all examples of emulsions. Emulsions are mixtures of two compounds that will not normally mix, such as oil and water or air and water. All emulsions have a continuous phase into which are scattered tiny droplets of the dispersed phase. Vinaigrette is an example of an oil and water emulsion, which has tiny oil droplets suspended in a water-based solution. Water and oil emulsions, such as butter, also exist. A simple mixture of oil and vinegar is not stable, and the oil droplets will gradually coalesce. As more and more of this happens, the oil completely separates from the vinegar. At the interface between the two different phases, there is high surface tension, so mixtures tend to reduce this tension by minimizing the interfacial area. The minimum surface area occurs when the two components are completely separated. The key to a stable emulsion is that the dispersed phase must be kept from coalescing into larger droplets. To do this, we use an emulsifying agent. Emulsifying agents are partly hydrophilic or water-loving and partially hydrophobic or water-fearing. Because of this dual nature, emulsifying agents orient themselves at the interface between the water and oil phases. They reduce the surface tension and allow the droplets to remain suspended in the continuous phase and for the emulsion to be stable for a longer period. There are many emulsifying agents used by chefs. One is the phospholipid lecithin found in egg yolks. Lecithin has a hydrophilic phosphate group and two hydrophobic tails. Most proteins can also be used as emulsifying agents as they are made of amino acids, some of which are hydrophilic and some hydrophobic. All emulsifying agents align themselves at the oil-water interface so their hydrophilic portions protrude into the water phase and their hydrophobic portions into the oil phase. The other way that an emulsion can be stable is if the dispersed phase has an electric charge. Electrical repulsion prevents the droplets from coming close enough together to coalesce. The casein proteins in milk do not come out of solution because they are negatively charged and repel one another. That's why milk is white. The caseins scatter light. If milk is acidified, either by adding an acid or by bacterial fermentation, the negative charge is neutralized and the casein proteins come together and coagulate into lumps. This is the reason old milk curdles. The emulsion of casein proteins in water is broken. With an understanding of what stabilizes and breaks emulsions, Chefs can better control their creations and express their creativity. Mm -hmm.